Hello guys and welcome back to Best Car Picks. Ford has shared some key specifications of its first Ranger plug-in hybrid, PHEV, as it nears its local launch. Unveiled a year ago, Ford has kept most of the Ranger PHEV's details close to its chest, however with Australian deliveries due sometime in 2025, it has now provided greater insight into the cleaner ute. At the IAA transportation show in Germany, Ford announced the PHEV drivetrain will be available across the existing Ranger XLT, Sport and Wildtrak grades, as well as a new limited edition Stormtrak variant that will serve as the flagship of the electrified lineup. Powering the Ranger PHEV is a turbocharged 2.3-liter four-cylinder petrol engine, not available in the regular Ranger lineup in Australia but sold in the Ford's twin under the skin, the Volkswagen Amarok. Between the engine and the 10-speed automatic transmission is a 75 kilowatts electric motor, fed by an 11.8 kWh battery sitting underneath the tub and on PHEV-specific chassis rails. Ford hasn't announced combined outputs, though it's expected to improve on the 222 kilowatts and 452 Nm figures of the petrol-powered Amarok. The carmaker is targeting 45 kilometers of electric-only driving range from the electric motor and battery, which can be switched between four drive modes, Auto EV, EV Now, EV Later and EV Charge. Ranger PHEVs retain the turbo diesel model's four-wheel drive transfer case with high and low range and a locking rear differential. In addition to Eco and Sport modes, there's also a range of terrain management system modes that include slippery, tow, haul, mud, ruts and sand. The Ranger PHEV also doesn't sacrifice the 3,500 kg towing capacity of its diesel-powered siblings, allowing it to keep up with the pulling ability of most utes on sale in Australia. Other Ranger PHEV-specific features include up to 6.9 kW of available external power, courtesy of a 2.3 kW 2300W outlet in the cabin and two 3.45 kW 3450W outlets in the bed. These outlets can not only be used by tradies on job sites for power tools, but also while camping for appliances. Ford is yet to announce pricing for the Ranger PHEV, though it's expected to come at a premium compared to the V6 turbo diesel versions of equivalent dual cab pickup variants. All examples of the Ranger PHEV will be built in South Africa due to tooling constraints in Thailand, meaning it'll incur a 5% import duty as we don't have a free trade agreement with South Africa. Hope you enjoyed the video, do subscribe for more such interesting content, thank you for watching my video.